CNBC sucks. Here is SpaceX's Elon Musk's angry tweet to CNBC in response to the outlet's recent controversial article alleging that Starship operations are harming water supplies. More importantly, this is not the first time CNBC published attack articles aimed at Musk and his companies. And this incident is just the final straw. So what exactly happened? Find out everything in today's Tech Map episode. But before we begin, let's subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest space news. Elon Musk is a billionaire, thus to some extent he has a broad influence in various fields of society. His space company, SpaceX, is an innovative company that is pioneering the commercialization of the aerospace industry. More notably, the emergence of SpaceX has usurped the legacy companies to gain a monopoly position in the field. Therefore, it's not unfathomable that Elon Musk has a lot of enemies, who seek all ways to constrain his progress in his favorite sector. Recently, CNBC published a controversial article criticizing SpaceX for violating regulations regarding water use and discharge during Starship testing and launch processes. Notably, this story is written by Laura Kolodny, an author infamous for attack articles aimed at Musk and his companies. CNBC reported that SpaceX has been discharging polluted water into the surrounding area without the necessary permits from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality TCEQ, or the Environmental Protection Agency EPA. The report also noted that the wastewater contained high levels of pollutants, including mercury, which could be harmful to both humans and wildlife. Quickly after that, Elon Musk expressed his anger with the report by tweeting, CNBC sucks. CNBC are such liars, he added. SpaceX spoke up to correct the news, saying, CNBC's story on Starship's launch operations in South Texas is factually inaccurate. First of all, they affirmed that the water-cooled flame deflector system, a critical equipment for SpaceX's launch operations, applies potable drinking water to the engine exhaust during static fire tests and launches to absorb the heat and vibration from the rocket engines firing. Similar equipment has long been used at launch sites across the United States. Mentioning permit matters, SpaceX stated that they had worked with both TCEQ and EPA to secure the necessary permits for their water use and discharge activities. To support their claims, SpaceX provided a detailed timeline of their interactions with these agencies. SpaceX further asserted that the TCEQ and EPA had approved their operations, confirming that their systems did not harm the environment. They also highlighted several factors that bolster their credibility. While there may be a typo in one table of the initial TCEQ's public version of the permit application, the rest of the application and the lab reports clearly state that levels of mercury found in non-stormwater discharge associated with the water deluge system are well below state and federal water quality criteria of no higher than 2.1 micrograms per liter for acute aquatic toxicity and are, in most instances, non-detectable. The initial application was updated within 30 days to correct the typo, and TCEQ is updating the application to reflect the correction. Agree with SpaceX, some comments pointed out a typo with the mercury measurement in the TCEQ report. One of the fields on page 2 said 113 micrograms per liter, and other fields said less than 113 micrograms per liter, or similar magnitude values. That's a huge discrepancy that the CNBC article should have checked out before getting all worked up about mercury. To be honest, environmental regulations are often a favorite subject for critical media reporting. The environmental regulations are quite cumbersome, acting as a barrier that could disrupt the launch frequency of most rocket companies. Rocket companies like SpaceX must navigate a complex web of federal and state regulations to obtain the necessary permits for launches. This includes compliance with the Clean Water Act and other environmental laws, which can delay the launch schedule if violations are found, or if additional information is required by regulatory agencies. Recent CNBC reports can lead to increased scrutiny, investigations, and potential penalties, which may disrupt planned launch operations and hinder the ability to ramp up launch frequencies. More than that, environmental compliance issues can lead to significant delays in obtaining launch approvals from the Federal Aviation Administration (FAA). The recent news suggests more delays ahead as the company seeks to win approval not just for its next launch, which was expected as soon as September, but also for a higher launch launch cadence. On August 12, the FAA suddenly postponed a series of public meetings to discuss increasing launches and landings at Boca Chica. 
The agency added, the FAA is seeking additional information from SpaceX before rescheduling the public meetings. Between mid-2023 and early 2024, SpaceX faced several legal challenges related to the environmental impact of its Starship rocket launches from the Boca Chica facility in Texas. In May 2023, environmental groups, including the Center for Biological Diversity, filed a lawsuit accusing the FAA of failing to conduct an adequate environmental review of SpaceX's Starbase project before approving launches. The lawsuit sought to force the FAA to do a full environmental impact statement. After a Starship test launch in April 2023 caused an explosion and debris damage to a nearby wildlife refuge, the environmental groups called for a halt to launch approvals until a comprehensive environmental study was done. In December 2023, the groups filed a supplemental complaint alleging the FAA and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service failed to properly analyze the environmental impacts of the first Starship launch before issuing a revised license for the second launch in November. Another case was in June when the environmental group Save RGV accused SpaceX of discharging industrial wastewater without a permit into an area about half a mile from the launch pad. Save RGV then notified SpaceX of their intent to sue for violating the Clean Water Act. Frankly, the process of meeting the launch qualification standards set by government agencies like the FAA or wildlife organizations also takes a significant amount of time. Elon Musk has been notably unhappy about this and spoke about deregulation during an extended conversation with Donald Trump on X. If you deregulate, like, have sensible regulations, he said, because a lot of the regulations are nonsensical and cause the cost to be extreme for no reason. Donald Trump, who is famous for always focusing on economic development for U.S. companies and businesses, if elected, would likely work to reduce these regulations, whether or not Elon Musk suggests it. Obviously, this is not the first time CNBC has shown opposition to Elon Musk and his company SpaceX. The conflict between SpaceX and CNBC primarily revolves around coverage and commentary regarding SpaceX's business practices, operational decisions, and Elon Musk's public persona. In fact, CNBC has published articles that critically assess SpaceX's operations, including allegations of illegal labor practices and environmental violations. Take, for example, on January 4, 2024, CNBC reported that the National Labor Relations Board, NLRB, charged SpaceX with illegally firing eight employees who criticized CEO Elon Musk in an open letter. The employees alleged that the workplace was permissive of sexual harassment and that Musk's public behavior was a distraction. After the explosion in Starship's first test flight, CNBC says SpaceX scrambled to rebuild the launch pad and install a water deluge system meant to blunt the tremendous heat, energy, and sound from launches. The company skipped a permitting process in its rush, according to CNBC. The EPA launched a probe and demanded more information on wastewater discharges about a month after SpaceX ran a full pressure test of the system in July 2023, CNBC says. The agency reportedly notified SpaceX on March 13 that it was in violation of the Federal Clean Water Act. In response to these criticisms, SpaceX has labeled CNBC's reports as factually inaccurate, particularly regarding its environmental practices. The company asserts that it is in compliance with regulations and that independent tests show its wastewater is within acceptable limits. Elon Musk has also publicly criticized CNBC, calling Laura Kolodny liars and defending SpaceX's operational integrity. So why does the media, particularly outlets like CNBC, have such a grudge against Elon Musk? First of all, can't help but mention the reason coming from industry rivalry. As SpaceX continues to dominate the commercial space launch market, traditional aerospace companies and media outlets may scrutinize its practices more closely. SpaceX's disruptive influence in the industry can cause damage to the legacy companies that tend to rely on fat congressional budgets. We may be all too familiar with the tactics SpaceX's opponents often use to attack the company, and it would not be weird if they consider media as an effective tool. Additionally, Musk has had several high-profile conflicts with journalists and media organizations, often responding to criticism with sarcasm or hostility. For example, Musk's decision to suspend several journalists from X has has been a focal point of controversy. This included prominent reporters from CNN, The New York Times, and The Washington Post, who were banned for allegedly doxing Musk by sharing information about his location. 
Critics argue that these suspensions were arbitrary and served to intimidate journalists reporting on Musk and his companies. Musk's interventions in global political issues, such as his comments on the Ukraine conflict and his engagement with political figures, have also attracted media criticism. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.